Bonjour, bonsoir tout le monde. Comment nous est? Nous souhaitons nous toutes en forme. I have another Haitian Creole proverb for you all today. Last time we had a Haitian Creole proverb where we spoke about la rivière. We said, des pieds pas sonder la rivière. Well, today I have another proverb which uh, involves the word la rivière also. Our Haitian Creole proverb for today is Kouri pour la pli tombe dans la rivière. Kouri pour la pli tombe dans la rivière. Literally, it says run from or because of rain fall into river or fall in river. And it means running from the rain and falling into the river. Now, this proverb is used to express the idea of things going from bad to worse, right? Somebody is running away or running because of the rain. And while running because of the rain, they fall into the river. So the idea is running from the rain to avoid getting wet and falling right into the river where of course you're gonna get wet completely Kouri pour la pli, tombe na la rivière. now in english there is a a saying that's uh, similar and that is to jump from the frying pan into the fire jumping from the frying pan into the fire or jumping from the pot into the fire so the frying pan is already bad as, bad as it is and jumping from that and going into the fire so the idea in haitian creole um, expresses as i said things going from bad to worse and usually when it's the person's undoing right in an attempt to escape something bad falling into something worse uh, there's another there's another saying in english it's not exactly the same, but it sort of expresses a similar idea. And that saying is, um, when it rains, it pours, right? When things start going bad, all of a sudden they get a lot worse. When it rains, it pours. All right, let's go over the vocabulary words that are part of our um, Haitian Creole proverb for today. So we have kuri. That's run, to run. Kouri. Next, we have pou. That's for or because of. Pou. La pli. That's rain. La pli. Then we have uh, tomber. That's to fall, falling, fall, tombe. Na, that's in, na. La rivière, river, la rivière. All right, let's explore uh, some of these words a little bit closer. Uh, so first, we're going to look at the word la pli. Now, that word la pli is from the French la pluie, where in the French, the la part is the definite article, the, right? La pluie would be the rain. But in Haitian Creole, the la part of la pli is not a definite article, but it's actually part of the word rain itself. La pli. So if there's a situation where you need to be specific to say the rain in Haitian Creole, you would have to use the article, the definite article, a. So you would say la plia, and that would be the rain. Okay? So la pli itself is the word rain in Haitian Creole. And we find that this uh, it's uh, the same thing with the word la rivière in Haitian Creole, which is from the French. La rivière, but 
in Haitian Creole, the la part is part of the word river itself, right? La rivière. Whereas in French, the la part is the definite article. So we have la rivière. And if we need to be specific and have a definite article, you would say la rivière, yeah. Or some people say rivière, yeah, rivière, yeah. okay? And uh, yeah, so now let's see how we could use that uh, proverb, uh, using it in a sentence, right? Not just the proverb itself. So we have, we said courir pour la pluie, tomber dans la rivière. So if I were to say it, something happened to me and I wanted to express that, I would say, ma couri pour la pluie, mal tombé dans la rivière, right? I was running from the rain and I went and fell into the river. Ma couri pour la pluie, mal tombé dans la rivière. Now the app part um, is, the, it's, is uh, the equivalent of the English ing, right? To show continual action or something that was progressing something that was happening right map kuri while running i was running map kuri pulapli because of the rain mal tombe na la rivière and the al part is the in mal tombe m al tombe the al part is the shortened form of the word to go showing future right or something happening also. Mal tombé. I went and fell into mal tombé na la rivière. And if you were to say it about someone else, you would say li a couru pour la pluie, li a tombé na la rivière. Or more uh, natively, if you wanted to say it, it would be la couru pour la pluie, la tombé na la rivière. If you wanted to say it to someone in the second person, wap couru pour la pluie while tombé dans la rivière. All right, uh, let me know in the comment section if you could think of any situation where you would use that saying with your Haitian Creole speaking friends or acquaintances. And uh, yeah, uh, like, share it uh, with someone who will find it useful. And now we're pita.